The following sin video is a shout out to two channels, EBW Wrestling and Gavin21202. Links to both channels are in the description below, as well as the original video link to this match. So if you haven't seen this match for yourself yet, click on the video's link in the description. Special thank you to Gavin Orlandi, aka Gavin Styles, in this match for approving the rights to this video. Enjoy. Wow, fast and furious action right off the bat, which included Gavin Styles avoiding RJ's trip as he delivered a suicide dive to B-Dog. Dang, this match just started too and I'm already taking a sin off. No joke, I was actually surprised a lot by this match. You may see more sin removers throughout depending on how this goes. Uh, impromptu dance off? You see, that's why RJ should have kept the chair with him instead of tossing it in the ring, giving either B-Dog or Gavin full advantage to achieve said weapon. The force is strong with this one. Apparently the physics of getting hit with a snap suplex causes your body to briefly step up and run around in a circle before falling flat on his face. Or have I been hitting those moves incorrectly all this time? Haha, ha, irony. Referee ultimately forgot that a roll-up pin just occurred. Let's go! Maybe if you didn't waste your time yelling let's go to the audience, you would have had better luck with that pinfall. In some ways, I get your frustration. In other ways, I do not. Gavin prepared himself to jump, but then a voice told him that I'd be sinning this match in the future and would likely sin him for doing that. So instead he does what most WWE wrestlers normally won't do. Actually sell a high-flying move without jumping like an idiot. Kudos! <laughs> How old are these guys again? Their athleticism in the ring along with their movesets continue to amaze me. Damn, that was close. Cameraman is either the commentator or the narrator, but definitely not a combination of the two. Come on. Assaulting referees. Technically he did, just by grabbing him. Take that, middle rope! Well damn, that was quite a picture-perfect moonsault from b Dog. Sun remover number four, I believe. Is this video gonna set a record or something? RJ is addicted to wooden structures. Oh, he's bleeding. Shit. RJ's face was visible to the camera for a good two minutes or so before the cameraman even realized that he was bleeding. Whether in the sun or in the shade, it was clearly visible. Also, I honestly don't give a shit what anyone says. I'm deducting a few sins for these youngsters having the balls to continue wrestling despite being cut up. Reason for the sin removers is because I haven't seen people that age go through with that for years. Or hardly at all. Well, I definitely ain't eating on that picnic table anymore. Not after it got stained with blood. LOL. And yet another two sins will be removed for B-Dog's perfect balance with both his feet on the tiny ass ring post followed by a greatly executed moonsault to the outside on RJ. And these guys are on a roll here. Meanwhile, on this side of the ring, Gavin is still unconscious. And if he's been unconscious this whole time, I believe B-Dog could have pinned him to win the match prior to the moonsault. RJ's shoulder was clearly up the whole time, thus the pinfall should not have counted, even despite the kickout. You will never beat me. Monologuing is a weakness to any wrestler, even in independent backyard promotions. Trust me, I would know. Never worked for me. Curse you, chair! You have disobeyed me for the last time! I don't know what was under that tarp, but I heard some metallic clinks. You guys should definitely subscribe to EBW because this ain't your average kids trying their hardest to be a wrestler cliche channel. This is the real deal here. Karma. Great 30 plus minute match. I was completely blown away from this and that's saying something. Congrats to RJ on winning the title and to finish off this video, remove another three since for every 10 minutes that this great match existed. And once again, good luck you guys on your future.